and this is a um, it's a trop uh, paramos are a tropical high ecosystems which we can find in the Andes and also in some parts of Africa but in this case this is this ecosystem has been compared to an island like or or archipelago pattern isolation this causes uh, plants to to diversificate very rapidly and one of the genus that uh, had this Andean radiation is Lupinus, also presenting a lot of uh, a variety of growth forms adapt to specific uh, environmental conditions in Paramus. Uh, um, as a consequence of this, this uh, gen genus it has uh, has not been really um, um, described. Also, the uh, phylogenetic relationships are unclear. But um, a lot of uh, studies have been done in architecture from uh, cultivated species, from crop species of lupinus. Um, but not in the variety of growth forms that we can find here in there in the Andes, in the in the Paramus. So um, what we the the aim of this work is to describe those the main uh, qualitative and quantitative variations between those growth forms, specifically found uh, growth, forms, growth forms found in Cundinamarca and Boyacá. Um, what we did was first sampling five species, individuals from five, spe uh, five species in, Colum in the Colombian Andes. Uh, then we well, the species were s uh, species one, species two, Lupinus mutabilis, ch Lupinus chocontensis, and Lupinus alopecuroides. Then we uh, uh, grouped those uh, species into growth forms according to some previous cl uh, classifications. And then the architectural an analysis were uh, divided into a qualitative part and quantitative part. The, um, the qual quantitative measurements were the number of nodes, the number of branches, uh, the node, internode length, and etc. Qualitative observations to to determine the architectural model these growth form these growth forms are following, where the mono the monopodial or sympodial nature of the branches, the phyllotaxis or leaf arrangement, orthotropic or plagiotropic orientation, and the branching pattern, and finally the position of inflorescence in each branch. What we got was first, there are some um, traits that are conserved in the genus. Um, these are that the, the plants have a branch main stem determined with a, uh, a f in terminal inflorescence and continuous growth. Um, but in each of the three growth forms, which were erect shrubs, prostrate shrubs, and basal rosette, we can find uh, specific variations. Uh, first, in the erect shrubs, we, we see that th this growth form is uh, particularly similar to the European crop species. They have a mesotonic branching. It means it is only having the longest branches in the middle of the main stem and is following a stone's growth model, which is a, um, an, erect brand, an erect main stem with orthotropic branches. It means um, uh, branches are vertically orient oriented and with a uh, spiral phyllotaxis. Prostrate troops and basal rosette, which uh, is uh, species one, species two, and Lupinus alopecuroides, they both live in the grass paramo, which is a, which is a um, a more open area. This lives in the boundaries with the um, high Andean forest. And, and these uh, um, have more conspicuous um, modifications. In the case of prostrate shrubs, they are dwarf plants, prostrate dwarf plants, with mixed access by secondary changes. It is that they have plagiot uh, plagiotropic and orthotropic branches, but those, pla those that are plagiotropic, they are um, horizontally uh, orientated, but also they, they twist their phyllotaxis from spiral to disticles. This, this happens in both species. 
and in Lewin, in the Basel Brussels Lupinus Allopecuroides is following Lewinberg's model, where there are equivalent orthotropic branches. Uh, um, although they are prostrate, they continue to be orthotropic because they maintain that uh, spiral phyllotaxis. And, 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 and an acrotonic branching, which is the, it, this plant, Lupinus allopecoroides, is producing branches only in the apical part of the main stem. Mm, so, concluding, what we see here is that the erect shrubs, which, which are similar to the, to the European species, uh, are living in a um, protect area from the extreme conditions in Paramus. And both prostrate and basal rosette, which present uh, stronger modifications, live in a more exp uh, exposed area, more open area. So we need uh, still to, to, make, to study the fun those functional traits that are making these both growth, growth forms uh, uh, that are uh, allowing those plants to live there, like leaf pubescence and other uh, functional traits, to, to comprehend more the adaptation of plants to this uh, ecosystem, tropical high elevation ecosystem. Thank you.